Hello, crafty friend Sparkle here. Say, forgive my naked nails, but it's the day that I let them rest, and I'll have polish on them again tomorrow, my Color Street nails. So, yeah, I like to let them breathe for like a 48-hour period. So, without further ado, I have to show you what I was playing with today, okay? So, I know I posted pictures on the internet and stuff, but Oh, I need a little glue. Um, these are little legs for my box. And this box, let me, while I'm talking, make sure everything's glued down. I sort of was playing and, okay, so this is just a little box I had on my desk. Just a little box. It probably at one time had a lid. And I had junk in it, little stuff. So I looked at it and I thought, I want to make a Rolodex out of this, a Rolodex box. So these are little um, bead caps, okay, because I like to have it up on a stand. And I just put a bow so I know where the front was. So this is approximately, I just covered this with scrap paper and the sides as well, and I inked it. And then I took, um, I didn't have any uh, dowels or wooden, um, you know, sticks. So these are, this was a paint, an old paintbrush that had no top. And I don't know, I still have this. So I just cut it with my uh, tools. And I put, um, I wrapped some medical tape around these bars because I didn't know, I didn't want to glue it in there or anything. And so that acts like a little cushion, and that, that way you can move them around a little bit. Okay, they're not, you know, this should be maybe a different color. Maybe I should put some washi or something on it. But for now, I don't care. And um, they're different widths. Again, I don't care right now. And this is approximately one inch. So I made my little um, cards two inches by one and a half inches, and I used my little punch. And voila, we have little cards that I can decorate. Now, these are the ones um, we did the other day. I've got a video up there. Uh, I was trying to see if some of them were. Okay, this one was made um, just with the hole punch. And that fits as well. Okay. So. Is this not cute or what? Sparkle's all about cuteness. Okay. Then I thought, um, like I do the, I do uh, words of encouragement every day in my little um, three ring binder. Maybe I'll just do a word from the plethora of words we have in our kit or a verse or something and put them on here. I just love it. I just think it's cute. Okay. I'll, I'll stop talking about being cute. So if you have any questions on this, um, put them in the comments below, and I'll try to help you. Okay. Can you go over there, little guy? Then I'm trying to keep up with um, some of the collaborations and the challenges throughout the month. And this month it's uh, Rach and Bella Crafts and Line Dot Arrow. And I need to get to Line Dot Arrow and finish printing their freebies and so I can do their challenges for the week. Excuse me. So I spent a couple hours this morning cutting Rachel Bella's stuff. I made a little um, ephemera holder here for some of the smaller things. And here's uh, one for the words. Just so I have everything there. I don't cut all these out individually because it's easier for me to see what's on them and then cut what I want. I'm going to show you how to make that. Uh, I've got my hearts, my flowers, um, and this is one of the folders I made um, from uh, Line Dot Arrow, and I uh, have all my um, uh, pockets in here for the kit. And then in this one, I have um, some tags and some of the bigger cards and things, and again, some of these, but not individually cut yet. So I have all my stuff cut out. 
And that's um, how I like to do things. Otherwise, I get too overwhelmed. Uh, so this challenge, um, the first week was the altar paper clips, which I did, and you saw all them. They were on, um, like I've got them on some of my things here. Okay, so here's one. So I did that, and then this week it was to do um, July collaboration challenge number two was five envelopes using um, Rachel graciously gave us uh, two or three pages with envelopes. So there's uh, this kind of um, pocket envelope and there are these little micros and mini envelopes. So we'll make a couple of them. We'll make this one. And then um, this is one of my favorites. Hold on, please. This is one of my favorite envelope folds um, for something just really simple. I want to round these corners so it's thin paper. So I'm just going to put a backing paper on there. Um, I prefer them rounded, but you could leave them you could leave them pointy. But I'll show you how to fold this with a um, couple couple different. Ouch! Ooh! Ouch! Pinch my finger. Okay, so this is um, one of my favorite folds. We'll we'll do that. Here's uh, this is with a full sheet of paper, and this is with a five by seven piece of paper. Okay. So let me, um, and I try to remember to print my paper on double-sided paper because it looks better. And this one. I'm sorry. Oh my word, I have to get on the right angle for it to. Let's try that. No. It has to be at a point. This is difficult. I don't know why I'm making this so difficult, my friend. I think I'm getting tired. It's been very, very hot in the desert, like 100 plus. 115, 110. Okay. So this is 5 by 7 piece of paper, and this is 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. So I'm going to show you that when we need to make 5. So that's going to be 1, 2. Um, we'll make one of these minis. That'll be 3. So we can make this one 4 and this one 5. Okay? So. That's going to be my contribution. So to make um, to make these, you want your paper, preferably eight and a half by eleven, and you're just going to my drink is sweating. Sorry about that. Okay, so. Okay, so I put it down, and I I give it an inch up here. So you're just taking the lower right hand corner and bringing it up. And you want to make like a square here. So, it's not really a square, it's an oblong. Okay, so this this spot is about an inch. Okay? And I don't have my folder. Okay, then this piece, you're just going to fold over. And you can... Um, 
see how big you want it. Okay. So they're not always the same size because I just um, I just play with them until I get the way I like it. Then this piece gets tucked in there. And that is it, my friends. Then you have a you have several pockets to choose from. Okay, let's get okay. So you have a pocket back here. You have a pocket here. Um, this one got to make sure you catch them right, okay? So you get all these different pockets. Okay. So just depends upon where you end your fold, how far over you go. Okay. This one's narrower. Um, this one's wider. But that's all it is. Okay. I'll show you that again. Take your paper. Fold this up. Then fold this piece over. Let's go a little bit more, maybe. And then this piece can go in here. So there's no gluing. And then if you want to round these corners off, you can. But that is this pocket. Okay, and we'll, we'll decorate. We'll decorate this one when we're done. So let's put them over there. And here's the little one. We can decorate this one as well. This was a five by seven. You don't want them square, you want them oblong. So we took this and we put it up here. This one's more square. Turned it over. So, this one, let's try to make it a little more square. So we have that there. Let's just put it on the two there. We'll have to do a different fold here. So you got this square right here. Okay. And then you can. And, and you'll get to know. You'll get to know where you want. Where you want your folds. How big you want them. Okay. So that's a little smaller. They're still not all the same size because I folded them all different. Okay? So I just want to show you the options you have. So um, we'll leave this one out to decorate it a little bit. Okay, then this one. I want to lose all my stuff. These are the little teeny tiny coin envelopes, and they're so cute. Rachel, you outdid yourself. They're adorable. Especially for this girl. So, it's a coin envelope. 
So these are your top and bottom pieces. So you're going to fold. Oh, let's do it this way. We're going to fold this. And we're going to fold this. Okay. Then you decide this is your top. And this is your bottom. It's that simple, my friends. Look at them. Just a little coin envelope. I suppose we could do them this way. And they don't have to be coin envelopes. Then they could be standard envelopes. Okay? So you have that option as well. So then all we're going to do is Everything is folded nice. Is run just a little bit of glue on the edges here. Because then it's still open if you want to put something in there. Okay? And then um, we could decorate that as well. Um, this style is um, very lovely as well. And I love how all the papers coordinate. So this one gets folded up. And this comes down. Um, straight is a good option, Sparkle. Um, now, I might take these to the sewing machine in a little bit. I'm having trouble keeping things straight today. Isn't that cute? Tiny? So we got um, we got one we got one, we got two, we got three we got four and then we'll do a big one. This is the smaller one. We'll, we'll do a big one. So I just um, have color on top So, let's go on this line here. So beautiful. Yeah, I definitely want to sew down this one, um, this one, now I'm not sure about sewing on these because I'll, I'll use the real estate of the pocket, so I think I'm just going to go sew these two. Um, Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Let me, let me see. Um, let's see if I like this one better. Now, you could also leave these open and just um, use them down like that. Just put some ink on here. To cover them up. Okay. 
Okay. So let's see. I don't think I'm going to sew these little ones. I don't want to lose the um, the cuteness of them. So let's leave them there and we'll come back and decorate in a few minutes, okay? Well, I just had a major glue infusion. So my beautiful little envelope uh, needs to dry and hopefully I can salvage it, put some lace or something on it, okay? So I'm going to put it up here. Um, I have a fan on, so... Oh, and I got on this one, too. Oh, my goodness. I was trying to make sure my glues were all working. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hold on a second, please. It's something narrow. All right, we'll let that sit up there. I sewed them so beautifully and now they got wet. All right, so I decided, oh my goodness, this one has color too. I just peel this one off. I decided that I was going to um, glue this one down on the bottom because then, then all your pockets are secure, okay? So we're going to run a bead of glue down here. Goodness. I don't even know how that happened. Apparently I wasn't paying attention. So just take it um, and run it along in here. Okay, uh, and these I just um, I just cut cut the tops off on these for a different look. Okay, so we know we're gonna stuff it. Um, let's see if we want to um, put some ribbon down here. I'm thinking that um, that'll help too to have a little bit of ribbon down here. So. Um, please be good to be glue and don't leak. We just put a little bit down here. And get my spatula. I just want the very tip of the ruffle hanging over on here. So off camera before I inked everything and stitched what I was going to stitch. And I don't want too much glue. I don't want to seal anything down there. Okay, so then we're just going to fill these, and um, this could be an ephemera holder as well. So just take um, some of your bigger things back here, you know, everything matches. You could take a couple of these cards. go in here and then something shorter in here um, where's my shorter thing something pretty and then we got um we got one more pocket for something smaller. 
So, what else do we do in here? Getting there. So we can put some of these down in here. Okay. And then we could grab one of our hearts. And we could put something under it, like cheesecloth or... Break it up a little bit. And that can go down here. And Let's put one of my little clusters on that we made the other day, and that picks up the blue on there. Um, it does have a sticky back here. Let's try that. I'm not sure. And... And then we could put a word over here. Let's put this one here. And I don't know if it needs a little something behind it or not. This was um, the card that was holding that, so I'm going to just put that in here. And there you have it. One pocket decorated. Okay, so then we have this little one. This little one can have um, some of these little pieces over here. So let's put this back here. Let's put our words back here. And our little um, card. Especially if you're giving this as a gift. You know, people can... Um, decorate their little treasures and um, let's get one of these bigger words here that says enjoy the little things let's put that over here uh, let's put something under it let's see if we have and our lace. Let's take a piece of this. And put this on here. 
nice and soft looking. Put that piece down first. Okay, enjoy the little things. Um, the bingo card. There you have it. They don't need a lot to be pretty. Let's see. This one's getting dry. This little, little teeny tiny, let's put one of the teeny tiny stamps on that. I'm going to have to dump them. Because they're not just going to come out nicely for me. So, let's put that up there, because we can. And this one, um, Something small, a small word or something. Oh, those are too big. Let's put one of these little flowers on here. And let's pop that one up. Sorry, I was off camera. I was cutting. And I need something little. Let's take one of these, maybe, and one of these little Kim Holtz paper clips. And let's see if we can get it in there. Well, it would help, but I can't see it. <laughs> right there. And just put this up here. Let's see. Tassel up there. I want to. I want to bring the tassel down now. There you go. Oh. 
forgot about that. Cute. Okay, that's number three. Now, number four is a little damp. How about this number five? No, I think it's going to be okay. I wanted to put some wider lace up here now to cover <clears throat> to cover that loose that loose spill. So let's try this. I think once it dries, it'll be okay. Maybe fold it over. I want to keep it between the stitches. Okay. Cut it straight. It'll be okay. That's not a problem. Let's cut out some of these flowers here. I wanted to tear them, but I cut them too close. I wasn't paying attention. That's okay. Yeah, one more. Where should I put a heart? Yeah, maybe I'll put a heart. Okay, let's um, put this flower down and then let's pop the heart up so it's like a 3D effect. It's a little cluster over there. And maybe we can add this. Under there. So oh, just like a little cluster. Alright, so. Let's see what else we want to put on here. We've got words. Put a stamp, a bigger stamp up here. Uh, something behind it. Here's my cheesecloth. Up. There you go. Okay. 
get that up there. And the statement comes what does it say? Create your own sunshine. That's right. Pretty. Okay, so we have one, we have one, we have two, we have three, we have four, and on my desk is number five. Let's put this little stamp here before I lose it. And again, something little. Let's see what's in here. Those are stamps. It's kind of big. Now, I think we're just going to use one of these words here. Grow. Bloom. Why did I say grow? I don't even see grow there. Oh, it grows up there. Okay. We're going to put this here. And because it's so tiny, I just want to put a few sequins on there. Like Like maybe a little flower. If I do three, could I use some of my little leaves? Would that work? Or are they going to be too big? Oops. They might be too big. We'll see. So Natalie showed me how to cut these out on her video. So if we put a leaf here, let's see. I don't know. We have a leaf. And then I was thinking of just putting three little sequins here. Maybe one over there. No, I'm not getting the look I have in my head. So, let's um, see what we're going to do here. If I do it like that, sort of looks like a cluster. We're going to just do it. There. 
It looks okay. Cute. It's dry. So, I'll show you what we did. And I'm sorry it took so long. But there was a lot of stuff that had to be accomplished here. So, here you go. We have number one. Number two is even teenier. Number three, that's the big boy. Uh, number four, and number five. So I hope you were all encouraged. This is a July collaboration challenge number two. See you again soon. Bye.